Let's wrap up section 5.1. After completing the exploration and reading, you should be able to, among two categorical variables, identify which is the response and which is the explanatory, calculate the conditional proportion of success within each group, calculate and interpret the difference in proportion as well as relative risk, and use a two-way table, difference in proportion, relative risk, or segmented bar graph to assess a potential association between two variables. Let's practice some of these concepts in this example on gun control. Let's say a new gun control law was presented to Congress. Of 460 women surveyed, 379 supported the law, while 318 of the 520 men supported the law. On each of the next slides, we will answer questions 1 through 5, 1 through 4 being directly from this section, and number 5 being a review. What are the two variables collected? Sex is one, men or women, and it is the explanatory variable. These are the groups we will compare. Support or not for the gun control law is the other variable collected. It would be the response. This is what we will compare between the two groups. Be sure to think about the observational unit, one person, when identifying your variables. Let's calculate the difference in proportion of support between men and women. P hat 1, where 1 equals woman, or I could write that as P hat W, is 0.824, and P hat 2, where 2 is men, or I could write that as P hat M, is 0.612. Then the difference in proportion, P hat W minus P hat M, or P hat 1 minus P hat 2, would be 0.212. I could also write that as P hat M minus P hat W, or p hat 2 minus p hat 1 is negative 0.212. Note that if we do not give you a specific order of subtraction, you can use either. Just make sure you are consistent in the order of subtraction throughout the problem. Also be sure to use informative subscripts like w and m for women and men, or if you use 1 and 2, make sure you define what 1 and 2 represent. 1 represents women and 2 represents men. How would you interpret the difference in proportion? The proportion of women who support this gun control law is 0.212 higher than men, or the proportion of men who support this gun control law is 0.212 lower than women. Let's calculate and interpret the relative risk of support when comparing men to women. When calculating relative risk as group X compared to group Y, you must use the division p hat x divided by p hat sub y. So in this calculation, the reciprocal would not be correct. In other words, we gave you the order of division in the problem statement by stating we want you to compare men to women. So p hat m divided by p hat w would be 0.743. Let's interpret that value. The proportion of men who support this gun control law is 0.743 times the proportion of women who support the law. Or as a percent change, we would get negative 25.7%. Or the risk of a man supporting this gun control law is 25.7% lower than a woman. Based on the difference in proportions or relative risk, does there appear to be an association between the variables? Yes there does appear to be an association between gender and support or not for the bill. Why? Because that difference in proportions of 0.212 seems pretty far from zero, and the relative risk of 0.743 also seems pretty far from one. Zero for a difference in proportions or one for relative risk would indicate no association. Let's have one review problem here too. Identify one potential confounding variable and explain how it is a confounding variable. There are lots of choices here, but maybe the most obvious would be political party. We can measure the political party, Republican, Democrat, or Independent, on each individual. Women are more likely to vote Democrat, and Democrats are more likely to support stricter gun control laws, whereas men are more likely to be Republicans, and Republicans are less likely to support stricter gun control laws. We see this confounding variable can be measured on each observational unit, is related to both the explanatory and response, 
and helps to explain the relationship seen in the data.